Yo, what's good, y'all? It's troll, and today I have one of those things that not a lot of people will really think makes a big difference in your life, but trust me, it does. So this is something I'm really hyped for. So today I got the wireless charger trio here by Samsung, which released this year, which is kind of like air power in a way, and I'm upgrading for my wireless charger duo over there. So we're gonna see what's up with this. I paid 130 for that when I was out in Vegas last year, and this is like 100 bucks, even though it's actually off right now. So I think it's like 20 bucks off. But anyway, so let's get into it. All right, so y'all already know where we're at. The legendary unboxing table, as usual, with my Culver's Lemonade. Oh, yeah, y'all know how I love my Culver's. But yeah, anyways, I want to go and upgrade my wireless charger duo here, and I want to go and check out the wireless charger trio. So this looks really interesting. As you can see here, I still even got the box from when I was in Vegas. And you can see it right there, TMO, T-Mobile, and I paid 120 bucks. I thought I'd pay 130, but still, close enough. Anyways, let's just look around this real quick. So we have the wireless charger itself, so it looks really sleek. And unfortunately, I kind of wish we had a stand but i don't know maybe i'll get used to it so we have wireless charger trio here charged together three and one nine watt fast wireless charging with these devices here as you can see we got the charger itself as you can see here so we do have these dots here so that's just kind of telling you where you can put your devices at and then you can also see the status lights here at the bottom on the right side we basically had the same thing i just read so we got that we got nine watt fast wireless charging and then we got led dimming mode on the back we just got some info here like basically what we just read on the left side we got wireless charger trio and at the bottom in the top we don't really got nothing okay where's my unboxing knife y'all know what time it is Ugh. yeah let's do this all right let's just go and check what's up inside this box here so let's just go ahead and slide this out here and there we go so let's just look at this real quick so i got the white version it does come in white and black but yeah so as you can see here here is the wireless charger trio here so i do like that i think this is usb-c yeah it is that's pretty nice so as you can see here here's the size difference between the dual and the trio here so i don't know i mean it's cool and definitely looks a lot more modern with this white color here in my opinion but again i chose that so as you can see here we got those same dots again so it doesn't glow or anything they're literally just dots to tell you where you can put your devices at and then we got this spot right here for the watch so i heard the regular galaxy watch doesn't really charge in there well but i'm hoping that's just not true we'll see though like i said we got the status lights here we have the watch icon and then we also have things here like the phone and on the back we don't really got nothing here except for these rubber feet so inside the box here we do have a fast charger so it is way smaller than it used to be so i mean this is pretty much just a regular 25 watt phone charger here so let me show you the wireless charger dual one this is what you get with the wireless charger dual definitely a lot thicker but i just remember like we do have usb see on here too so that's cool and i just want to say i don't see a place where we have fans but i know like on here at least we do have fans here in the back and they're not loud at all anyway just looking inside the box more we don't really got nothing we got our quick start guy but you know we do with that we go it to the side uh. All right, so besides that, all we gotta do is just plug this thing in. Plug it in for the first time, and there you go, so you can see those green lights and everything just changing there. All right, y'all, so I got the wireless charger duo over here, and I also got the wireless charger trio, and if you look at my wireless charger duo, I mean, you could kinda tell that I use this thing a lot because of how dirty it is, but I think you get the message. Maybe I should've cleaned that thing before I got here, I'm just saying. But yeah, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and try out some devices here on the wireless charger trio. So I got a bunch of devices here, like my Pixel 5, I got the S20 FE, I got the iPhone, nexus so again if you're looking at the wireless charger you can see all these dots here so that's just telling you where you can put your devices at but really you could just slap it anywhere here on this wireless charger pad and it's two devices max but then you can also throw another device here so i'm grabbing my pixel 5 over here and i'm also grabbing my s20 fe as you'll see that both of these just charge here with no issue so that's perfectly fine it's also fast wireless charging too so that's pretty nice now if i want to go and use my pixel buzz and charge it up next to my pixel 5 that shouldn't be any problem here so you'll see a led light here on the pixel buzz themselves and the led light right here in the corner now we're gonna go and switch that out for our iphone and let's go and put the pixel buds back here again like i said there's really no issues with this you just slap it on kind of like an air power and it's just you know pretty simple so i like that now if i try to use my galaxy buzz and put it here on the watch spot as you'll see here it won't charge it's specifically made for a watch so i can't use that there i can't put my iphone here and expect that to charge my s20 fe it's just not gonna work it's only over here now here's the unfortunate truth for a lot of y'all so unless you have a galaxy watch active for newer meaning you have a galaxy watch active or active 2 or a galaxy watch 3 this spot right here is going to be pretty useless to you and especially if you're not in a samsung ecosystem at all you can't really use this spot right here 
This wireless charger trio is really only made for people in the Samsung ecosystem, so if you're cool with just not having the spot here being able to use, that's cool, but just keep that in mind that if you like have some Apple devices or something, you can't use that right there. So if you have a Galaxy Watch like me, unfortunately you can't use that on the wireless charger trio like you can on the wireless charger duo, but from my limited testing, you can with the Gear S3, so that's really weird. I don't know if it's because the watch is like this on the back and the Gear S3 is flat. I'm not sure what's going on, but it's definitely strange. So you'll see here that when I put on the wireless charger, it will give me a red light for a little bit, but then it's going to start blinking and the watch won't really charge all the way. So that's what I'm saying. But the Gear S3, it ain't really giving me that issue. So I don't really know what's up with that. So right now it's charging. So of course, while I'm doing the video, it's charging, but just usually it'll give me some blinking red light, meaning that's not charging. Even if the watch itself shows that it's charging, it's going to stop charging. Like, trust me, I tried this overnight. And again, though, putting in on my wireless charger duo, as you can see here, there's no issues and of course if i try using my gear s2 it's not gonna work on either of them like it's just a no-no so putting my gear s2 on here that's pretty much what you should expect here with the galaxy watch but for some reason like i said my galaxy watch was charges so and yep there we go makes more sense so as you can see here it's blinking now so for my final verdict do i recommend the wireless charger trio do i give it the jennings stamp of approval and should you upgrade over the wireless charger duo so here is my thing so if you're in the samsung ecosystem with like a galaxy watch active or galaxy watch 3 or whatever then yes i do recommend this but i mean if you just have like some regular devices or like some apple devices or whatever and you know you can't use this also yeah you can still get it but i don't know man this spot right here is gonna be pretty much useless like you're only charging two devices at that point point. and trust me i tried to do more than just two devices like i tried the iphone and the pixel buzz and the galaxy buzz and everything like that and that didn't really work out as you can see there there's only two lights on right now so i give this a jenny step of approval if you're in the samsung ecosystem so you have the phone you have the buds and you have a compatible watch like a galaxy watch active or even a gear s3 and i give this a jenny step of approval if you don't really care about using this part now if you have a wireless charger a dual and you have a compatible watch for this then you should definitely get this but if you don't have a compatible watch yet then just stick with this like that's just how i feel so unfortunately it's looking like i'm gonna have to go back to the wireless charger dual as my main in my room until i get a galaxy watch 3 or whatever so for the time being i'm going back to the wireless charger dual but i gotta say i do like how i could easily stop a phone out here real quick but i also like how we have a stand out here so i wish that they had something like that in these newer versions but y'all that's where i conclude so that's pretty much it for me Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. I got my Pixel 5 review coming soon and I'm gonna compare it to the S20 FE and things like that. Y'all already know how I do. I got the Pixel 5 right here. So after this video, that's what I'm gonna do. Either that or I'm gonna finish the unboxing on this. I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. So let me hop up out of here, y'all. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But go and follow me on my social media, Eddie Santec on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, but Instagram and Twitter is so I'm most active. But I don't really got nothing else to say. That's what I'm gonna call it, y'all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And uh, ha! Peace out. Jeez, it's so true. You got way too much energy. I know I need to chill out sometimes.